falling. Whoever trusts in his riches will fall. So we heard running after money will f make you fall. Now if you trust your riches, you gained money. So you don't need God. Trust in God only. Don't trust in your health or wealth or family or support. But trust in God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I went to a family in New York. For the first time I saw there were 10 members. And all the 10 of them were like a solid bundle. Any problem, they trust each other. I wish I had told them this verse. No, this is the first visit. I shouldn't tell them, right? <laughs> Next time I want to tell them that trust in God. Yes. Don't Amen. trust in each other alone. Amen. We tend to trust in our family. I have a Telugu friend. Wow, great. You have a Telugu friend? Good. I have a Malu friend. Good. I have a doctor friend. Very good. You are a doctor. You're going to have a doctor friend. But don't trust too much in your friends. Hallelujah. Amen. Trust in Jesus. Amen. And Jesus alone will save you. Amen. Jesus alone will guide you. Amen. Jesus alone will hold your hand. Amen. Don't trust in any man who has breath in his nose. Amen. That is what the Bible says. Don't trust in any man who has breath in his nose. Amen. Trust Amen. in God alone. Amen. Another thing to prevent fall. Pro uh, Proverbs 16, 18. Proverbs has all lot. I'm only teaching few of them. Proverbs 16, 18. Pride goes before destruction. Pride goes before a fall. And a haughty spirit before a fall. Always remember, pride is the character of the devil. He fell because he was proud. The first step to holiness is humility. Yes. Spiritual humility. Yes, amen. Humility in every area of your life. That is the first step to holiness. Pride is the first step to fall because the devil is the most proud person. Don't be proud of your position, your degree, your health, your achievement. Give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hebrews 24 and Proverbs 24, 16. For the righteous falls seven times and rises again. Amen. The righteous will fall seven times and rises. and rises again. So if you are right in the direction, even if you fall, you will rise again. I told you that falling into God's hand is dangerous. But sometimes falling into his hand is better than falling into devil's hand. Yes. Yes. Second Samuel 24, 14. Second Samuel 24, 14. Falling into God's hand is the safest place. Amen. When you should fall into God's hand, not in disobedience, Amen. not in rebellion, Amen. but in obedience. Amen. If you fall into his hand after disobedience, you had it. But if you fall into his hands after obedience, you are blessed. Amen. Second Samuel 24, 14. I'm in a desperate situation. I'm in a dis desperate situation. They re replied to Dad, but let us fall into the hands of the Lord for his mercy is great. Yes. Let us fall into the hand of God, for his mercy is great. Amen. When Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego fell into the fire, Amen. let me tell you, he didn't, they didn't fall into the fire. They fall into the hand of a man who was walking in the fire. Amen. There was a man, a fourth person walking in Glory the fire, Amen. who was ready to receive them. Praise so the when you are being thrown into the fire, Fall into the hand of God. Amen. When you have trials and temptation, remain in the hand of God. Amen. Don't jump out of the hand of God. Amen. Because that is where the safest protection is. Amen. Psalm 715. Now you will fall into your own trap. The, dig, the, the well that you have dug, sometimes that is dangerous. He makes a pit, digging it out. Yeah. And falls into the hole that he has. You made. have prepared a well for someone else, but you usually will fall into your own trap. Make mm -hmm. sure that you don't dig pits everywhere because you yourself will fall into the trap you set for somebody else. Psalms 37, verse 24. Psalms 37, verse 24. Though he fall, yeah. he shall not be cast headlong. Sometimes you may fall, but you will not be cast headlong. For the Lord upholds his hand. So the Lord upholds his hand. Let me tell you, the children are made with a different kind of skull. Because I'm a neurosurgeon. If I'm doing a burr hole on an old man, it is very brittle and you have to very tough to make the burr hole. 
But if it's a child, I can cut it with a scissor. It's like a plastic ball. And you can lift it up and you can move it and you can shape it. God made that child's head with a plastic kind of thing. Why? God knew that the child is going to fall many times. So when you are a child in your Christian life, you will fall. But if you are a mudukan and still fall in your Christian life, there is some problem in your life. Hallelujah. You have to be careful that you don't fall because you are not meant to be falling down. But even if you fall, God will not allow your head to be hitting. He will not let you down. Now I am coming to the final peak of my message. The last few minutes. Listen carefully. We are excited. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 30. We are coming to the last few minutes of our message. We are going to listen something very exciting. Isaiah 40 verse 30. Even, even youths will become weak and tired. Youth will become weak and tired. Have you ever seen a youth getting tired? <laughs> Whole night dance club. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Appachan will get tired. Amachi will get tired. Youth will get tired. No, they are chilling out. <laughs> they don't get tired. They do one game, two game, three game. I still remember playing basketball. Four game and I want to play one more. You know, you don't get tired. But even youth will get tired. Amen. Hallelujah. Even youth will get tired. Next verse. And young men will fall in. Oh, house. interesting. I thought only old young children will fall. Okay, it says young man shall fall, utterly fall. That is why this class is very important. Even young and big strong people in spiritual life can also fall. Young man may fall. What else? Next verse. But to avoid falling, what you should do? They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be tired. If you wait on the Lord, you will stop falling. The secret of success running without falling is wait on the Lord. I told you the step you have to start walking, then you are slowly running, then you are climbing, then you are flying. If you want to take off and fly, you have to be waiting on the Lord. I know all of you have come from India, so you have at some time have got into the plane. Have you heard the noise that plane makes when it sound, starts sounding, starting, you don't know what it's making. And you will think it's all finished. And when it is on the runway, you will feel like jumping out. Because the whole thing is shaking. And once it takes off, you know there is difference. After some time, it starts cruising at 38, 40, 42,000 feet. No sound. Peace. No shake. Peace. So this jumping and shaking and all because you are still on the ground. You need to start flying. The best way to stop falling is to start flying. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Let's not only walk for the kingdom of God. Let's fly by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus taught his disciples few things and said certain things will fall. One, I don't want you to take it, but you can write Matthew 7, 27. The house that is built on sand will fall. Why Christians fall? They are built on sand and not on the stone Jesus Christ. The house that is built on sand will fall. You have to be building yourself on the word of God. Amen. And the word of God. And the word of God. Hallelujah. And the word of God. Amen. Your Christian life will depend only on the word of God. And you need to receive your word personally. Not from somebody else. Only the little babies when they are in the nest that the mother brings the food. After that, it is God. They go and fly and search and fly. Then in Matthew chapter 15, verse 14, it says, somebody will also fall. Who are those? Matthew 15, 14. Who are the ones who are going to fall? There are two group of people in Matthew 15, 14. They are going to fall. Let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. Blind pastors and blind leaders. Luckily, you have a very nice pastor here. <laughs> blind pastor, what will happen? Pastor also will fall. The leader also will fall. Everyone else also fall. So my last warning. Never drive behind a parked vehicle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Have you seen some people driving behind the park vehicle? <laughs> Come after two years, they are same spot. What is new? Nothing new. Everything is old. Any new message? Nothing. Any new gifts? Nothing. Anything spiritual? Nothing. Behind the park vehicle. <laughs> Only if you're shaking. As if you're taking some movie or something. You make sure that you're running behind Jesus. Yes. The speed of heaven. Don't get stuck behind some things. Make sure that the person ahead of you is having the pace of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't get messed up with the situation. Make sure that Jesus is the author and perfecter. Make sure that you get keep him in front. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. I just love this message. I thank God that I recorded it. I never knew when I got it in the evening is going to be exciting. Hallelujah. Your season is not a false season. Your season is a summer season. Amen. I will close with a promise. Matthew 10, 29. Matthew 10, 29. We will clo close in time. Oh, I told Pastor I'll close in time, so I will close in time. Matthew 10, 29. Are not two sparrows sold for mm. a copper coin? And yes. not one of them falls to the ground apart from your father's walls. Can you imagine all the sparrows falling on the ground? Who knows? Nobody else in the world. Mm. Police doesn't know. People around doesn't know. Only God knows. Only God knows. He knows the sparrows falling on the ground. We don't realize how many sparrows are falling in America. He knows each one. If he knows every sparrow that is falling, how precious is the children of God who is being bought by the precious blood. Amen. Heaven weeps. Heaven gets upset. Heaven gets prepared when he sees some child of God sidetracking. Amen. About to fall away from God, away from prayer, away from the kingdom of God, away from the spirit of God. Amen. If God takes care of a sparrow, let me guarantee you, he will take care of you. Amen. Go with the assurance from here, Amen. my Jesus, Amen. who is the author and perfecter of faith, Hallelujah. will take care of you. Amen. That is why we read in Jude. What did we read in Jude? Now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and present you spotless before God. Now unto him. I trust this congregation will grow depending on the power of the Holy Spirit and trusting in Jesus and remaining close to the word, feeding from the word, being filled with the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. I know you've been a very nice congregation. I know you've listened very carefully. Hallelujah. Make sure you do the homework and study that God will take you to the next level of your spiritual experience. Thank you for giving me this nice time. I'm so excited and happy for inviting me to be here. I thank each and every one of you. May God bless. God willing, we see you tomorrow. Thank you. Change my heart, oh God. May he